making your nutcracker is kind of lining everything out. The hat, um, I think it's really easy if you've got one of these squares. Um, you can just measure out 12 inches and that's your hat. And then you measure out eight inches and that will eventually be your hair and face. Step two, take some painter's tape. This is gonna go on the underneath side of that 12 inch line. So you marked your line there, you're gonna put the tape underneath that line. Now you want your tape to be flat and smooth against the surface because that's gonna give you a nice crisp line when you paint. Next up, for your eight inch line, you're gonna come in on top of that line instead of on the bottom. So the top tape goes underneath, the um, bottom tape goes above. So, after you get it taped, this doesn't have to be perfect, but like if your line gets a little messed up, you're eventually gonna put ribbon here that will cover that up. But you paint the top whatever color you want the hat to be, you paint the bottom whatever color you want his coat to be. When it dries a little, you take the tape off, and you paint the face area. And you really only need to paint about halfway around because the hair is gonna cover the back. Next step, after you get it painted, is kind of decorating it. So what we've done on most of ours is put some ribbon around the line between the face and the hat, some ribbon at the top, ribbon um, at the top of the coat. You're gonna wanna hold off on putting this ribbon on until you get the legs assembled. So keep that keep that open for now. This is what I was talking about a minute ago with the hair covering the back. That's why you don't need to paint the back side of it. Um, for hair, we have used um, faux fur or um, this fleece works really well too. And I think we got a huge package of the fleece, um, Sherpa fleece from Walmart. And this did about eight nutcrackers. So for the arms and legs, we've been using um, four inch diameter sewer pipe. This is, I think schedule 35 is what it's called. It's green when you get it. Um, it comes in 10 foot sections and you're gonna need four two foot sections. So um, for those of you who got the kits, they are already cut into two feet, two feet sections. But um, for those of you who are making your own with your own supplies, um, you will need two sets of pipes to have enough, no wait, you'll need one pipe to have enough arms and legs for one nutcracker. Cause it's 10 feet long and you can get five two feet sections out of that 10 foot pipe. So those four inch pipes, two you're gonna wanna paint the color of your jacket, of your nutcracker's jacket. So we're making a black jacket over here. So we've done black arms with a red cap. These red caps are also available at the hardware store. They're four inch PVC caps. Um, if you just ask for a four inch PVC cap, they'll point you to them. The legs, I think it looks best if there's some contrast between the jacket and the legs. So on this particular one, we've got red pants on Mr. Nutcracker. So we've got two of those two feet long, four inch diameter PVC pipes, and they go on ah, these stands. So your stands are made, this base is a 12 by 12 piece of half inch um, plywood, and inside, you on the bottom, you just, I used, two and a half inch screws, and I use two on each leg to kind of give them some stability. But these are landscape timbers that have been cut to a one foot length. So if you get one landscape timber, you can cut, um, you can cut them down to one foot and one landscape <laughs> timber is enough for one nutcracker. It's probably enough for two, to be honest with you. I think they're six feet long. Um, so, you space them out. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to kind of eyeball it. Um, and then put the screws in the bottom to hold the um, landscape timber. 
secure. Is that the word I'm looking for? And then the legs just slip down on top. So these are those bases. We had painted black with the, um, the uh, landscape timber for the feet. Um, I put them probably about an inch and a half. Honestly, I just eyeball it. I like look at how much room I have on the side and kind of guesstimate how much room the pipe is going to need. You can actually take the pipe and put it on there um, if you want to, but this has been working out for me so far. And then these are those really long two and a half inch screws I was talking about. Nice self-drilling screws. I think they're the saber or something. Saber drive. That way you don't have to do pilot holes. This is the cross section that will go up in the tube and hold your feet to the body. Um, we used old um, fence board that was donated to us by Mark Mackey. Um, it turns out these 12 inch tubes aren't really 12 inches. They're a little less probably. So what I did was I just set a tube down and kind of traced out the corners and then that makes it fit down inside the tube. Um, and I just used a circular saw to take those corners off. The other thing you could do is instead of making these 12 by 12, <laughs> like we did, you could probably just make them like 11 by 11 or 10 by 10. And that way you won't have to worry about the corners. You can just like drill into the into the straight wood. This is that uh, cross section that goes up inside the, the body tube. And then we put two more landscape timbers on the underneath of that to go down into the legs. So all of this is kind of flexible. Um, you can kind of eyeball it and then slip it down in. Once you have your um, base together, then you take your tube and the tube should slip down over the um, cross section. This is the one part where you're gonna need a second set of hands. And that person just needs to hold it steady. Um, make sure it's not leaning left or right or front or back. Um, just kind of eyeball it and get it as level as possible. And then I like to put the screw in the back cross section first. You do that on both sides. Um, the ones we've been doing have been firm enough with just three, but if you really want to, you can put one in the front too that the ribbon will cover all these. Okay, so putting the arms on, I use that screw as kind of a place marker for the side um, of the nutcracker, and then I use a level to get good level um, marks for my screws. So we're going to put a screw there and a screw there. So with these screws, you're not going to go all the way in. I'm using, let's look and see what type of screws are. These are one and a quarter screws. And if you can see on the screw, there's a little part here where the screw stops. That's about as far in as I'm going with the screw. Way to drill your holes for your arms is to put a little paint on those screws and then line your I've been lining the cap up with that top ribbon and just when you touch the pipe to the screws with the paint on it you'll see where you need to drill your holes. So you're going to want to find a drill bit that's big enough for to do a big enough hole that your the screw head will fit inside the hole. So I'm not, I, I want to say this is like a little s smaller than five eighths. Um, it might be a quarter. Um, but then you just line it up where the paint mark is. Once you have your 
circles. All you have to do is find those holes and how they line up with the screws, slip it on, and you've got arms. So when you're ready to do your nose, we can put this pattern up online for you to use, but it's basically a triangle with the tip cut off. And you put a line of hot glue right there on the top of the triangle and affix that to your tube. Once that's on and secure, give it a minute to dry and set. Then you run hot glue down the edge of the triangle and fold it in so it stands out from the face. So ultimately it will look like that. So for the face, I've just been using these um, permanent markers that I got from the dollar store. I got like a package for $2, I think. Um, and I just kind of use two fingers to see where the eyebrow should go. And I make kind of a little arch. And then just fill it in. That's the eyebrow. And then for the eyes, you're going to do a line that's a little bit longer than the eyebrow and a U and another U and this one gets colored in. And then for the mustache, I um, start at kind of the center of the um, eye is where the curly Q starts and you just curl it around and then put a little um, bit more body down here at the end. So that's his mustache. So, if you want to give him a little bit of life, you can put a little dot of white in the eyeballs. Just makes them look a little bit more alive. And then if you, we didn't have um, paint markers, but if you have like blue or green or whatever color paint markers, you can kind of go along the inside of the eyes to give them some eye color if you want to add a little something special. So here's a finished nutcracker for you. Both arms are on and decorated. Um, I really appreciate everybody participating in this. I'm Sarah Fightmaster from Gypsy Wings, um, the brainchild behind this crazy idea. <laughs> and I hope you guys have fun with it.